Well, hello everybody. Hope you're all well today. I've got some quite exciting news for you today, which is a rarity in these pretty shitty times. We've only gone and been awarded the Queen's Award for Enterprise in Sustainable Development. It's been announced today on the Queen's birthday. Um, you might have seen it's the Queen's birthday today because uh, Ben Fogel was uh, trying to get a, a whole nationwide attempt at everyone singing happy birthday to the Queen this morning. And he was sadly met with nothing but social media ridicule. Even the Queen doesn't want a fuss today and has cancelled the uh, gun salute she normally has. But we're so chuffed we've won this award that we couldn't help ourselves. So we've made a very high production value video to say thank you for the award and happy birthday. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday <laughs> Sorry, we seem to have got cut off there on the line to my dad in his Australian lockdown. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, what the, the Queen's Award for Sustainable Development means to us is massive. Obviously, pointing to the, the things we've done over the past particularly 10 years, bringing eco-uniform widely to the school wear market, first with blazers, trousers, skirts, polo shirts, sweatshirts, and then saving so far 34 million plastic bottles from waste. We've also worked with eco schools. We've brought together our own e young eco influencers in our wonderful 16 under 16, just to mention a few things. But I think what seems more evident than the things we have done is all that we haven't. And this really just feels like the start. We're in a massive global crisis right now, like nothing any of us have known before. And I think we're going to have to fight to resist after the, after we get through this to avoid succumbing to the gravity that is going to try and pull us back to the old way of doing things, the status quo, uh, the way of life that persuades us to spend money we don't have on things we don't need, to make impressions that don't last on people we don't care about. They're not my words, I've borrowed those. Um, but this great pause should tell us that we don't need as much as we think we do. We don't need as much toilet roll or pasta as we thought we did. Uh, and it is going to be really hard to spend our way out of this as a way of economic recovery. I think business is also at risk of ending up the villain in this tale, potentially. Uh, taking handouts and then reverting back to the same way of doing things afterwards. So instead, I think business has got to take this opportunity in front of us. Uh, once the, the heroes in, of the, the key workers have, have done their job and fought the current battle, we need to get to work on bringing about change and finding the ways that enable us to contribute to a thriving world and not to extract from a struggling one. I'm sorry I got all Oscar's acceptance speech then, but uh, <laughs> we are really thrilled with this award and it's given us a bit of good news when all around us is pretty tough going for everybody. So have a good week to you all. I will speak to you again on Friday. Oh, and Brian, it's green today. See you later. Bye.